Today I'm going to talk about some practical things regarding choosing a continuing care retirement community. I have many friends that are my age that are dealing with helping loved ones uh, make these decisions which are often difficult um, because sometimes people tend to stay, they want to stay in their homes as long as possible. But um, And in the past many people chose a retirement community based on you know its beautiful campus or its amenities or you know maybe they had friends there or proximity you know its proximity to family and friends but today more and more people are doing research they're doing extensive research to determine you know what what community best suits their needs people should be making these decisions and doing the same kind of research um, that they would when they're making other investments. They're, they're making uh, often a sizable investment to live in a continuing care retirement community. So just as they would do their research, you know, to buy a home, buy stock, or any other kind of in investment, um, this is an investment and they should be doing the research um, to make sure they're, they're getting, you know, the things that they should or they're not missing out on, on things that might be available. And the continuing care retirement communities vary in size and amenities. Um, and b by knowing, by doing the research available through NACRA, and they can, they can find the answers to these and then they can make comparisons on their own. I've spoken to many people that have traveled the country, the state, or the city that they want and have many, many choices. But having these guides available on the web allows them to know what questions to ask and then they can really sit down and make a, um, an intelligent decision that's right for them. If you're looking to move into a continuing care retirement community, you can look at questions and answers. These are the questions you should be asking of a community. Um, and if you're, if you're a provider, if you're a manager, if you don't have those kind of questions, use those as a guide and formulate your own answers so that when people come to you and they ask you questions, you know, you, you know. And, and, it, and it's another good idea to, you know, do, do you have, can you answer those questions? Do you have the things that people want? Um, today, more and more seniors are using computers. And so that's, that's an important amenity. Um, food is always really important, um, as I've, I've, I've said before. But um, people really need to be aware of, of what th these resources are that, that are available to them. And one of the benefits of a CCRC is that you do tend to live longer if you enter at an earlier age just because of the, the activities, the socialization, the intellectual um, opportunities. Um, just you know, being with peers and, and other people and, and they travel and um, it's, it's really quite a wonderful stress-free life. So those are some of the things that, that you, you just have to keep in mind when you're researching and, and use these resources that are out there that are available to you.